Hello everyone. We will start with our new topic that is control parameters, output options and user settings in smartphones. I will go for an example and then these terms will make sense to you. Suppose I am saying I will run my program. I will show you the output of the smartphone. I am running my program. I am giving input and this is the output of the smartphone. Now, what customer is saying? Customer is saying, I do not want this pop-up. Customer is saying, I will not pass out to device. Customer is saying, I will not click on print preview button. It means what customer is saying, whenever I will click on the execute button, I want simply, simply this output. It means we have to set the control parameters we have to set the output options so that customer task will be reduced. And this is real world. In the real world, what if customer is saying why this pop-up is coming, I will not pass any output device because I have a fixed output device. Why I should click on the print preview button? I want this whole process to be automated. Means whenever I will run the program, just print should go. I should get a print preview directly. It means we have to automate this process and we can automate this process through control parameters, through output options or through user settings. We have lots of requirements like this. This is just one requirement we are taking. Now, I will show you the smartphone first, how we will do. Whenever I am running my program, three things we have to do. Output device, we should pass by coding now because customer will not pass. This pop-up should not come. It means we have to pass the property that this pop-up should not come. Third thing, this print preview button should be automated because customer will not click on the print preview button. It means we have to set three things. First thing, output device, we should pass by coding because customer will not pass. With the help of coding, we have to pass the print preview button. With the help of coding, we should pass the value to this dialog box because now this dialog box should not come. Three things, output device, dialog box and print preview. These three properties should be automated. We have to pass through coding. Now, suppose I will go for my smartphone. If I will go to my smartphone, if I will run my smartphone, this is the function module of the smartphone. If I will display this smartphone. So these are the import parameters. Here it is import. It means when we call through the program, these all are export. Because see, if you see your smartphone, all these parameters are available, all these. It means if this kind of requirement comes, we will use these parameters to achieve our particular requirement. Now we will go one by one. Firstly, I will show you the control parameters. I am displaying the function module. You can go through function module also. 
or you can go through form interface of the smart form also one and the same thing because every smart form generates a function module and function module is a replica of smart form only suppose i will go for control parameters first control parameter is of this type if i will double click on the type first thing i do not want that dialog pop up it means we have to pass no underscore dialog is equal to capital x you know very well x means true space means false we want no dialog to be true we want this to be true so that dialog should not come second thing we will not click on preview button print preview button it means preview should be capital x it means these two parameters i will pass to capital x now what is third thing we want to pass the output device lp01 because customer will not pass passing the device option is in output option if i will see the type of output options here we have a parameter suppose i will simply find device output device you can see td test it is a output device we will pass lp01 to this particular parameter so we want these three things and we found these three things we will start with logic now i will uncomment control parameters i will uncomment output options now i will declare one own parameter in front of control parameters suppose ls control parameters i will pass in front of output options suppose ls output options now what will be the type of ls control parameter it is same as that of control parameter but is the type of ls output option it is same as that of output option so i will declare two variables here ls control parameters type if i will see control parameters is of this type so i will declare now i will declare ls output options type i will declare the type of output options now i will set firstly ls control parameters what is the first parameter what is the first column no underscore dialog we want to pass it to capital x what is the second thing ls control parameters hyphen preview is equal to capital x it means no dialog is true now preview is true it means dialog will also not come there is no need to click on preview button these are automated now we'll go for output options we'll pass that device name ls_output options now what is the name of the column td test and i will pass it to lp01 
So we set all the three things, no dialogue, true, preview, true, and we pass the device name LP01. Rest part of this, we will continue in the next video. Thank you.